My, 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 Gemini, what is going on with you, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot, back at it again, to find out what's going on with you for the month of February 2019. Yes, indeed, it is, all right? So, shout out to everyone who has booked personal and private readings with me. Thank you, thank you so much. And, and also, shout out to anyone that send love donation to the page. As you can see, I have all new decks here, and I am recording on my brand new camcorder thanks so much to your love and support so thank you guys so 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 very much and um for sharing your life with me and just helping me um make my dreams come true and being able to help y'all just give y'all the love and guidance that you know i was seeking at one point in time and me being able to pay it forward to give it to you guys so i really appreciate y'all for loving and supporting me all right so if you would like to book a personal private reading you can click that about tab all right there's a hyperlink that says scorpion red tarot as simply book me again it's scorpion red tarot as simply book me and um if you would like to give a love donation if this video resonates with you it gives you any type of wisdom or guidance you can feel free to go ahead and um give a page donation um to my paypal which is in the description all right and sorry for the late upload you guys as some of you know me and my family all had the flu so shout out to everyone as well for all of the well wishes to me and my family um you know all of that love and support definitely helped me you know fight through that sickness so i can get back here feeling you know fresh and brand new to be able to do these readings so thank you guys again for the love and support so let's get into the prayer dear lord thank you so much for bringing us here today for the sign of gemini please give the guidance and the resources and the wisdom needed for gemini to be prosperous and just happy and just overall fulfilled and abundant um for 2019 Please give the sign of Gemini the steps provided that uh, is needed during this journey at this time. Please give the sign of Gemini guidance in love, finance, romance, and career, and all the, uh, overall happiness for the month of February 2019. Father God, thank you so much to our spiritual guides, to our ancestors that look over us to you, to the universe, and to our spiritual guides for all of the wisdom that's been given to us in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Gemini guidance for February 2018. Thank you again. All right. All righty. So let's see what we got in store for the sign of Gemini for February 2018. Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day is coming up. What we got? What we got cooking? All right, let's see here. So we got that page of wands. All right, so I see that there is um, some passionate messages coming to you. There are some passionate messages that are coming to you about maybe something, you know, it might be a new passionate job. It may be someone that has their eye on you and they might be sending you some type of indication that they're making moves towards you and trying to see if you want to bite, if you want to take a bite on the bait. You know what I'm saying? They putting that bait line out there trying to see if you're going to jump on, you know. And, of course, we do know that the wand is also uh, representative of, you know, sex. You know, so this could be someone sending you some passionate messages. And they might be trying to, you know, see what's, see what's going on with you on, on a sexual level, you know. So you might be getting some communication. However, just keep in mind that the page of wands is not a type of energy that is around for the long haul. This person is really just coming around just to kind of fucking get on, you know. So, just always keep that in mind whenever you see the Page of Wands energy, especially if it's in the reverse. Oh, it's definitely, yeah, they just trying to bang and get the heck going out of there. You know what I'm saying? But as of right now, 
only thing we know about this situation is someone who is trying to communicate with you passionately about a new endeavor that they want to they want to come off off of the grounds and this right here is the knight of swords okay so huh it's, it's passionate new messages coming to you, but I feel like these passionate new messages might be coming with a sign of a aggression behind it. You know, it's a, it's a little bit of a forcefulness and some aggression behind these passionate messages. Hmm. I, I also have here the five of cups in reverse. So this is. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. I am getting that you are getting a lot of passionate messages, Gemini. Okay? And I feel like there is someone that is not too pleased about this. And I feel like they are coming towards you in the month of February. Very pissed the fuck off about the fact that you have been communicating with someone else passionately. And you have not been focused on what is going on with them and trying to fix the spill cups with them. You're looking forward to the future. And they don't like that shit. They're like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Who are you getting these messages from? Who the fuck is this person? You see what I'm saying? So, Jim and I, the person that you're dealing with is quite upset right now. That you are not focusing your energy on your current situation right now with these three cups that have been spilled. I feel like either they're looking at Gemini, like Gemini, you cheated and you're looking on elsewhere. You're not focused on trying to fix and mend things with them. You're looking into the future with someone else and they're upset about it. And or this person is from your past. And you're not focused on this person anymore. And you're moving on. And this person sees you receiving passionate messages from others. And they are coming to you mad as shit. That you're moving on and you're no longer focused on that situation with them anymore. That you're looking elsewhere. Wow. Hmm. Please give me some additional messages in regards to this situation with these passionate messages that someone is upset about. Upset about. Because Gemini is no longer focused on that situation. Yeah. They feel like you are juggling them. Yeah, it's most definitely some third party energy there. So this is basically what's going on, Gemini. You've been caught. The person that you've been dealing with, they know that you've been receiving these passionate messages from someone else, okay? And they've been standing there in the background, peeping the situation out as this person right here has been coming in and out of your life and you know they've been peeping this thing the whole time and they're just like I, who the fuck is this person what the fuck is going on you know why are you no longer putting your energy on trying to work on this relationship with us anymore I feel like you are juggling me and you're juggling somewhere else and you're ready to get on your ship and you're trying to sail off with both of us in the fray. And not only that, they feel like this other person that you're that you're dealing with, they feel threatened by this other person because this person, they feel like they're aiding you at you know in your escape. You know, you see this person like literally they don't push this they don't push the, the the boat to the other side of the shore for this woman. And it's literally helping her and her children to safe refuge. And it's picking up her swords for her and helping her. 
you know so this person is aiding uh, Gemini and this person feels like you were cheating with this other person all along like this was like a secret affair that was going on right beneath their feet and they had no idea like they feel like they didn't really see this coming they really didn't see this coming like this is a full blown fucking affair and they feel like you deceived them and like you completely just blindsided them and just walked out of their life off of some you know like you just like Pisces just walked out of their life like they meant nothing to them and just left them standing back there like and they're very upset about this. They're very, very upset about this. All right, let's get some deeper insight on this. They are upset about this. They're like, how could you, how could you cheat on me and turn your back on me and leave me like that? You know, they feel like you turned your back on them and you completely forgot about them. Lord, it was like you juggled this situation. You juggled this situation because you knew that your ship was selling elsewhere. Like you were juggling me all up until you got the, to that shore. Then you put that goddamn, you put that pinnacle down that had something to do with me because you were getting help from somebody else to leave me. You know, this was something that was a full-blooded fucking affair that was going on right underneath my nose. And I had no idea that this shit was going on. Like, this is how this person feels. And they are like, I'm trying to tell you, like, they are confronting you about this shit on, like, some damn near about to fight you ass type shit. Like, for real. And this is the, this is the page of, of, uh, of wants. So, this is a man on the card, so this could be a man that left the um, Gemini woman, you know? And they feel like this person had a full-blooded freaking affair behind their back, and they feel like this person, they feel like it, like it was calculated, you know what I'm saying? The Gemini feels like this was calculated, like you met this person and you juggled me and you juggled this person right up until you knew it was safe for you to get up in a band and ship. You know what I'm saying? Because you had age, you knew that you wasn't going to have no lapse of like being alone or anything for you being fucked up because you went from one situation and you rolled right into another one. You know? And this person just rolled out like a smooth ass fucking criminal and just left you heartbroken and in dismay. Like, honestly, honestly, and it's like you need to turn around and you need to focus on other things going on behind you because this person just completely played you. Honestly, spirit, please give me some additional guidance for the sign of Gemini for the month of February, please. Yeah, you were just a muse. I feel like you were the tool that they needed to help paint their life in the colorful picture that they needed it to be in for that moment. Until it was time for them to go off to their next, you know, site of affection. It's a karmic partner. Yeah. Yeah. There's most definitely a karmic partner. And I feel like you were just a karmic partner. You feel like you're the victim in this situation. You feel like you were the victim to this person. Alright. So, this person looked at, at you as something... That gave them, like, you were the blueprint to where they wanted to be in life, if that makes any sense. So, you possessed a certain level of power or stature that they did not have, that they wanted for themselves, and they can't 
obtain that their self so you were the muse do you understand what i'm saying you were the canvas that you know when they didn't have to go out and buy their own canvas or anything like that you were the canvas for them so that they can paint their life in a certain level that made them feel okay without them really having to do the work do you see what i'm saying so you were a muse and not only that this person has another person that they're dealing with on the other side. Do you see this is three people in this card? So there is a karmic partner in this situation somewhere. Not only that, you probably came into the situation as a karmic partner. And how you get them is how you lose them. Okay? I kind of got that energy up here too. Because this person... This is this person's history. This person sends passionate messages out to a whole bunch of people seeing whoever is going to bite. You know what I'm saying? And they don't leave one situation without waltzing right into another situation. So if they did that shit with somebody else on you, they did that with you to somebody else as well. You understand? And that's why I feel like this situation was based off of karmic energy. And that's why it's ending on karmic energy. And you feel like you are the victim right now in this situation. Because this person, you feel like this person used you as a muse. And, you know, this is deception. This person was being deceptive. This person deceived you. You feel like this whole relationship was merely based off of this person needing uh, like this person needing their ego stroked and comfortability or something like that. Like this person the the page of wand only comes comes in to get their they dick wet and to dip out. You see what I'm saying? That's the only thing that the page of wand wants to do. The page of wand is never there for no long term exchange. And if it is something. If they are there for a long term exchange. It's something that they're getting out of it. You see what I'm saying. They're not staying there for a long time. You know. This situation. Revolved around divine timing. It was divine timing. That this deception. And this situation about this karmic partner. And all of this stuff. Was going to come out in divine timing. It was all a part of divine timing, okay? You have to realize that you are the divine feminine and that you have to take your power back in this situation, okay? And you are the one that has the true power. And only people can do to you what you allow them to do. You are the divine feminine. You have the power. You have to understand the timing and that... This was a karmic partner in your life to teach you a lesson. To teach you a lesson about knowing who you are as the divine feminine. I mean, as the divine feminine. And having the key to your own life and coming to your own conclusions as well. I feel like this happened in your life because a lot of women feel like they need closure. You don't need no fucking closure. You need to come to your own conclusions. You want to continue to hold yourself up and... Keep yourself trapped and bound to a situation, looking for a conclusion, looking for a resolution, listen, listening for key words and signs so that you can like find some closure. You need to come to your own conclusion. You are the divine feminine. You need to understand that there was a divine timing and that there was a divine purpose and a divine lesson in this situation here. It was to teach you. How to not put yourself in these situations, in these karmic partnerships, and then to turn around and then to feel like a goddamn victim because you feel like you were being deceived. When you need to understand, don't deceive yourself and that you're nobody's fucking victim. People can only do to you what you allow them to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? As soon as that shit smelled like a motherfucking third party situation, you should have been the fuck up out of there. Don't try to paint your own fucking picture. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I feel like that's what this person tried to do with you. 
you came along in this person's life and they painted whatever picture that they wanted you to see so that they can continue to be in this page of wands energy and be in and out, in and out, in and out as much as they wanted to and be with who they wanted to. And that was your lesson for you to get is to don't feel like a victim from these people. Learn your lesson from what you needed to learn and to move on from this deception. You know what it looks like now. You know what it smells like. You understand. It was a divine purpose. It was divine timing in the situation. It was for you to grow. It was for you to see what you needed to see, Gemini, and so that you can move on. And right now, it's trying to tell you it is time for you to move on and stop looking at and mourning over these spilled cups. This person is not there anymore. Don't hold your back. Don't hold yourself back juggling something that has no value in your life when your ship is about to goddamn sail. Especially if you got somebody that is willing to help you move on. And it's taking care of you and your kids right now. And it's trying to help you get your mental state together. You need to release yourself from being tied and bound to this situation. With this person that does not love you. That just want to come in and out of your life. For whatever they feel benefits them. That is not love, Gemini. Do you understand what I'm saying? You need to realize that you're the divine feminine. And you need to come to your own conclusion in this situation. And stop looking for a resolution. Stop looking for closure. You create your own closure. You get your own closure. Okay? But I feel like there's a certain level of fear in you walking away from this situation. Alright? You feel like if you can just communicate... And if y'all can just communicate and get on the same page, that somehow you can, you know, figure out how to purge the things in this relationship that doesn't need to be there. And you think that things are going to be okay. But at the same time, you still turn around and you end up getting abandoned by this person. You feel, however, that you done came to the conclusion that you scared of being without this person. Even though that this person is being deceptive. Even though this person is being deceptive. It seems like you've come to the conclusion that. If you guys could just figure out how to communicate. And purge certain shit. That is not healthy in the situation no more. It, it, it'll fix things. It'll fix things. But you still end up alone. You still end up alone. This person is in a full-blooded affair with another person. The spring, lessons, material, world, crossroads, understanding, and action. I could have told you that. Listen, things will get better for you by the springtime. I feel like you're still going to hold on to the situation until about the springtime. Something about the springtime, it has a lot of significance to the situation. I don't think this situation is going to last past the springtime, honestly. This relationship was, like I said, this is a karmic relationship. This relationship was merely to teach you a lesson and you're holding on. You are holding on and you're allowing yourself to be tied and bound to a situation that is literally there just to teach you a lesson. And this person is having a full blown. This is a full blown fucking affair. And it's like you're going to sit there and just wait for this person to abandon and leave you. And they're setting up shop somewhere else. And I believe that you see this and you know this. You know this. It's all about a matter of time before this deception comes out into the front street. And I don't want you to be feeling like no victim. Okay? This person is only with you because of what you can provide to them in the material world. I don't feel like this relationship is based off of love anyway. This man controls you with sex. 
you're at a crossroads in this situation and you need to come to a point of understanding and seeing this situation for what it is and take action and actually do something to change the situation you have to take action okay let's get into the shadows real quick let's do a deep dive let's 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 see what we can do because this is some deep shit here okay all right spirit please give me some guidance in regards to the shadow energy for the sign of gemini walking away this just popped out on me you're having a hard time walking away Spirit, please give me some guidance for the sign of Gemini. And you're being haunted by this situation. I feel like... Doubt. Silenced. And excuses, yeah. So listen, this is, this is what I'm getting here. All right. So, like I told you from jump, all right, there's somebody that is sending you passionate messages. And I feel like this person controls you by sex. Okay. This person controls you by sex. And I feel like you know that this person is just in and out, that they're really just in this situation for what they can get out of it sexually and, and things of that nature. Okay. And I feel like, I feel like because like, I'm sorry, I'm jumping back and forth between messages that I'm getting. Okay, so the first energy, let's address the first energy that I said from the beginning. Okay, you're getting messages from new people, new passionate messages. It is someone from your past that is extremely upset about this change that has come, that's overcome you. And they see that you are slowly moving out the door to separate them and leave them standing in the in the behind here because you're getting passionate messages from new suitors. And this person is extremely upset about this, okay? This person is upset about the fact that you are no longer worried about the spilled milk that was the relationship that you and this person had. You were no longer looking at that anymore. You were starting to get your emotions together and turn your ass around and to look at what is behind you. And this person feels like you are juggling them. You are juggling them right now while you're waiting for your ships to sail elsewhere because you are getting aid from somebody else. And you are leaving that relationship behind and you are going to safer waters. And you're going to safer waters with the aid of a new person. And this person feels completely backstabbed and betrayed by you because they feel like this whole time that you were cheating on them and that you were misleading them and that this was a cold-blooded fucking affair. They feel like you being aided by this person here and that you juggling them waiting for your ships to sail elsewhere they feel like it was a betrayal and it is a fucking do you, you do you understand what i'm saying because you weren't able to communicate with them and i think that that communication was down here you were not able to communicate with them that this wasn't working out and that you just wanted to go they just went out and have a straight full-blooded fucking affair on you all right and then also and then also, there is someone that is in a situation with someone that is just in and out of their life. They're literally just there for the sex. All right. And I feel like you're fucking tired of it. You're just like, look, I'm not going to continue to allow you to just keep running in and out of my life as much as you please just to do whatever the fuck you want. This shit. I'm tired of it. And it's like, why am I going to continue to be in this energy with you where you're really giving me nothing when I can turn around and have something way more better than something 
like you like you're immature and you don't have any grounded energy and i'm just tired of this shit you know so they feel like they have other options you know if they got better options to juggle and they got their ships sailing somewhere else so they, they're taking the risk to you know balance other options here and not only did they pick an option that they felt was suitable for them, but this new person that they're with is helping them get away from you. And they know that the situation that they're in with you is a toxic situation and they're, they feel trapped and they feel bounded. And the only way for them to get away from you was to get help from somebody else because this was like some real low vibrational deep ass shit here, you know? And they needed help. They needed some, they needed other options. They couldn't just walk away from this situation and just walk into the business and, and not have nothing to fall back on, you know? So, this whole walking away was the thing that was really the blockage. That was really the thing that was haunting this person because it's like deep down inside they knew that things were brighter on the other side of the fence but it was so much doubt in them you know it was so much doubt because they really didn't know what was on the other side of that fence and that's why they just kind of suffer in silence in this situation and they made excuses every time something would happen and motherfuckers would be like you know, well, why don't you just leave? Why don't you just leave? And this person will make excuses because this person needed the other person for their material world. But now it's time to take action because I feel like that person that is being used for the material, I feel like they're finally waking up and they're realizing that. And they're realizing that this person, like I said, I'm not your muse. I'm not here to paint a pretty picture for you so that you can live this fantasy life that you always wanted to live in a big house. You always wanted to drive this car. You always wanted to do this. You always wanted to do that. And you weren't able to achieve and accomplish those things on your own. You found me and I had everything that you've ever wanted in your life. You understand what I'm saying? And you just used me so that you can live in my lifestyle and I'm not uh, I'm not allowing you or nobody else to use me like that ever again all right um let me I don't want this video to be too long but I had to jump into that into the shadow because it was just telling me to like no it was too much going on here And y'all, these are my new Twin Flame um, Mystic Moon Oracle deck cards. So if y'all do want a, to book a personal private reading and you want these decks, this is the, um, the Twin Flame reading decks. Alright. So, this is the Sea Storm. The Calm Amidst the Chaos. So... All right. So this message says, all right, even though the seas are wild, the atmosphere is torn with stabs of lightning and there is no land in sight. The sea storm being is following her intuition and she will know what to do to make it home. Lightning won't strike her and she will keep swimming until she reaches land. She seems slightly in a trance and is using her inner wisdom and deep knowledge to swim home she is from atlantis where she saw beings doing things that would lead to destruction she has seen how their hubris led them to their upheaval and her home has sunk under the waves now she goes out in the search for a new home and so can you it's time for you to move on you guys it is time for y'all to move on Seriously, the sea storms speak. You are surrounded by storms and wow moments and a great deal of emotional drama at this time. 
the world you know may be changing in almost unrecognizable ways. There is destruction behind you and you have left it behind in the past, but you are in search of a new home. You will find it and it will turn inwards um, you will find it if you turn inwards and listen to your inner knowledge that will send you in the right direction. Don't look. Look. Really look. You are a shapeshifter. You are able to make it through this time with no land, no home, and no apparent rescue by trusting that you will make it. The true message. This is a time of upheaval and great change, but if you turn into that deep inner voice and follow the radar you have built in your very cells you will find the way home through all this chaos and wreckage the old world is gone the new one is yet to be found the journey will continue for some time but trust trust and trust and follow the compass of your inner guidance listen and check in with your wisdom then go in that direction you are more adaptable more flexible and more able to survive than you know it Interest in the lands of L Lemuria and Atlantis and memories of these days may be resurfacing. I don't know what the memories are and stuff like that. When y'all find out what the memories are, y'all let me know. Because I'm curious to figure out what the fuck Lemuria, whatever the hell that guy's damn shit mean. Please let me know. Anyway, so listen y'all. Let's do two spreads. For additional guidance for the sign of um, Gemini for the month of February. And then we're going to get on up out of here, okay? Spirit, please give me some additional guidance for the sign of Gemini for the month of February. Thank you so much for all your messages today. The moon. Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, you are most definitely scared of um, being apart from this, from, from this emperor. Because this emperor, um, you feel like this person is supposed to be there to protect and provide for you. But is he really, though? Is he really doing that? You know what I'm saying? And, I, and there's a lot of secrets going on in regards to this person. But you feel like this person is your soulmate, okay? So there's a lot of secrets going on. And you have to trust your intuition. You have to, like, seriously understand what the moon really means it means to trust your inner intuition and your inner gut feeling if something don't feel right it don't feel right do you understand there are certain things lurking and looming around in the background that I feel like that you're being blind to because you are in love with this emperor you want to see this person for this person, for this perfect being and things like that, but you are not really addressing. You're not really addressing like the true issue here. You're not addressing the true issue here. I feel like you're being, you're letting your love guide you, and you're not letting your intuition guide you about this person. You have to get that balance where you're letting your intuition and your love for this person merge together where you're able to make a conscious decision and you're not just looking at it like, well, I need this king to provide and, and protect me and this, this and that. Yeah, but does this person love you? Is this person really providing for you? Is this person really protecting you? Or is this person having a whole bunch of secrets and a whole bunch of drama and chaos and foolishness going around? You need to decide what's more important to you. What is more important to you? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you can be in love with somebody, but, you know, was this situation a lesson on or, or what? You know what I'm saying? And... No, I mean, that's honestly what I'm getting. I'm getting, like, there's there's still a lot of bullshit going on in regards to the, situ the true situation going on with that emperor. But it's like, you were so b blinded by, by love. You're still blinded by love. And then that's the, there go that page of, page of cups again. No, that was the page of wands. And the page of cups. You're waiting. Okay, so I feel like this is basically saying that 
you're waiting you're like patiently waiting for growth and messages of love to come from you know a new place like you are patiently waiting and you're waiting for new love and new growth to come into your life and i feel like you truly need to walk away from this page of wands energy you truly do need to walk away and stay away from that you really, really do. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to spin this also like this. Don't fear new beginnings and, you know, what lies ahead. Because what lies ahead could be a very good man. It very much so could be a very good man. Someone that is a true protector, a true provider. Someone who is really going to nurture you. Someone who is really going to be there for you. And really, really... Be everything that you need and be a the, the true love that you really work for, the one that you really desire. And only thing you really have to do is just know that these messages of love is coming. You just might have to wait a little bit. You have to wait a little bit because you gotta wait into the chaos and the storm has 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 gone by has gone by. You got to find your way home. You have to find your way home and you have to get grounded and you have to get centered. And you have to realize what failed with the people before you. That's why, you know, your whole tribe of people that you knew before you, your people where you came from, all of them are gone now. Because they let their hubris and they let their pride and their ego get in the way of them learning true lessons so that they can evolve. It's time for you to evolve. Don't let your ego and your temptations and your desire. Yes, this person that is the king oh, that that is the page of wands. Yes, this person has good sex. Yes, this person is very intoxicating and hypnotizing. That is the fucking problem. You need to recognize these type of toxic ass people and don't allow these people in your life. And you need to like legitimately Yes, get the help of this good person who's trying to help you get away from this energy. And find happiness. Truly find happiness, okay? Don't deal with anyone that has any secrets and trying to mask it by calling it love. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't accept no one's secrets from someone who is just trying to control the situation by masking it and calling it love. If anything, read it this way. Don't be scared of what the future may hold because you may find a true emperor. A true emperor. Someone who is really going to provide and protect you and your family and be a good man and a good husband. And that is your true love. If you don't let your fears of the future get in the way. Gemini, this has been your reading. I hope that this made sense for you guys. I love you all so much. If you would like a personal private reading, go ahead and click that about tab. There's a hyperlink that says uh, Scorpion Red Tarot and Simply Book Me. Again, it's Scorpion Red Tarot and Simply Book Me. All right. Again, if you would like to um, book a reading using these decks that I'm using here, this is... The Twin Flame Oracle decks. Okay, this is the Shadow deck by Mystic Moon. And this is their Love Oracle deck. So if you want these decks, you have to book the Twin Flame reading. All right. I love you guys. Peace, love, and hair grease. I will see you in the mid month. Again, sorry for the late upload, but I know you guys understand. I love you. I'm outie.